Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you the process of uh, painting a portrait using oil paints. And uh, I'm going to show you the process of really not caring and how you actually shouldn't care sometimes. And what I mean by it is, is when you try So when you try so hard to to put things in because uh, it really requires a lot of attention from you and when you are very careful about what are you doing it puts you in a in a situation where you have so many mistakes Everything is tense when it comes into the way you think and your arm movement and your attention to details. But everything can be solved stage by stage. Do not think about one thing at one time and you just ignore everything else on a canvas and you just focus on one thing. There are many ways of realism and there are many levels of realism that can be convincing uh, to the viewer. You can start with the mess and then you just work your way up until you get to the uh, a final satisfying result. You know, you can work for this forever or you can just stay and say, okay, that's it. This is what I want to end up with because that's enough for me. So. So really, in the first, it's, a, it's called like a placement, a placement of where the face is going to be. And I'm already, there's a mistake already. So if, if the canvas is starting here, so I want the head ends here. So at least I have a space here to work with. And you don't want to, uh, you know, get your picture cropped by putting the hair here. So. Let's see, please. Uh, when I'm saying the concept of not caring, it's really a placement of the head. This is the end of the hair. We have to know that, okay, this is where the head, the chin, and it, it should be, this is a good space. that you put uh, your face in. That's a good spot. You know, you have space here, you have space here, and you have some for the neck. Okay. Now, not caring is I really just go for it. And I, I don't want to be like hesitant to do these things. It is entirely, you know, just go, just go nuts. Why not? Because sometimes when you try to pay attention super hard on everything and, and then it turns out to be not fun. So we want it to be fun, the process. You can pay it however you want. You can do whatever really you want it to do in, in any style you want. So I'm using a smaller brush right now with the burnt amber color, that's it. Okay, let's say maybe nose here. Maybe mouth here. And just go to eyes, hair.
this is I want you to practice in this way when you spend less time about thinking and just cover things so so you can build things and and then you can correct things later but in the beginning in the beginning just go for it and if you hear this uh, it's a rough canvas Let me show you how, why I don't care, because here. Whatever. I'll get a, a bigger brush, a little bit softer. Uh, to cover area quickly and I'm using odorless mineral spirits and uh, those are very uh, safe things to do still you have to have a uh, ventilation in your place uh, that do not buy any turpentine from the hardware store okay those those are unsafe to use I want you to just uh, use the Gamsoil. Gamsoil is uh, the brand. I'm going to put a link in the description so you can guys see it. Those are safe things. They don't smell anything. So look, I even erased it. Yeah, let's erase it. So now there's a, a way. Okay, there's a way. I did that on purpose so I can erase everything. I'm telling you that I don't care. This is the, the style of not caring. You erase just the, the face the spot. And then go back to well, with a small a brush and here you can add the uh, add some eyes Add the nose. See how simple it is? You just uh, put the, the shadow in and that's enough. And now you want to add the, the mouth. So just put a suggestion. Okay, now uh, to, to show the contour of the face, we're gonna ha darken this side. Okay, a little bit, just to give it. Highlight the face, and then uh, well, let's add uh, some dark accents here, and it will show. It will 
çalışıyor. Lara be be lara be. jawline so we'll put a chin here maybe we can correct it later if it needs to and then go to a neck uh, I'm drawing literally the the shadow areas now uh, let's give a darker accent here so that's a the hair let's get it go this way so a little darker accent here too Leave the details. Face will will show a little bit feature when you add the details slowly. Don't just focus on them right now. Now, let's define this contour from the side and leave it. There's a, a lot of methods when people, a lot of ways I've seen when people like paint and just go back on it and go back again. Do not just do one, one stroke and leave it like that because you're gonna lose it when you keep just adding adding more and more and more I'm gonna add uh, some light areas here so I'll switch to a medium bristle brush and add some white so add like light area here this side where the light comes in okay also side of the nose and uh, add here this side also will catch all the light uh, add some titanium white, you know, add the list in the in description. Add it, add it like a spots, you know, like patches. And of course the upper lip here below the nose. And uh, this area will catch light too. Okay. The forehead should halfway. Get some light. 
You can tap also. To give it some uh, some uh, light areas, you don't have to brush it hard. So uh, the white of the eye on the left left eye, just add a little bit here, and uh, white eye here it's darker. So touch it slowly, like just a little bit. Okay, the lip, let's look at some light here, and the top, two, this area from the hair also will catch light. Now, the side of the face will be darker. So now we'll show the face lighter because it's the contrast. area it's gonna be darker because it's uh, away from the light just make blend them all together the background and the hair So, this is, this is when we start oil painting. So, uh, the details are really not important at this point. Nothing. You just put a a face and make sure there are no very uh, you know hard edges that's gonna dry. So this is a kind of a underpainting, which is just the first stage that you're gonna uh, place your general figure and structure, and then you add to it. Uh, more details and colors in the different stages. But in the first one, it's literally just a, a placing features, general features. Because of course, this is needs to be corrected when you go into a lot of details. But now, it just you have something to work with. It's a, better than an empty canvas, which you don't know where to start. But just get the, the courage to start everything quick and you can erase it. You can cover it and put it again until you reach a, a little bit satisfying. To, like this, satisfying to me. I can work with this a lot. When this dries, and then I come back to it with the different layers, I can add, you know, colors and correct all the drawing mistakes and everything else. But the beginning is important, is how to start, at least to start something. Some people will end it like this, like golden looking color, and just add more details to the, to the face and more contrast. 
and accept it. But for now, it, it's okay that you just put just a, a general information on the canvas and that will uh, set you up for a next level. I hope uh, you enjoyed this video. I will uh, see you next time.